people will be coming, filthy rich. And I was reminded of that because as I watched George Osborne in the Parliament today, it struck me that the filthy rich are now running the government in this country. Because there we had a millionaire Chancellor of the Exchequer standing at the dispatch box, flanked on his right by a millionaire Prime Minister and on his left by a millionaire Deputy Prime Minister. The three of them, a triumvirate of rich people, uh, fronting a cabinet that contains God knows how many other millionaire ministers in its ranks, a government supported by multi-million business backers across the country. Uh, and all of them roaring on their approval for what can only be described as the biggest and the most savage attack on the welfare state in living memory in this country. And you know, as the afternoon wore on, I was reminded of another quote that Blair used to use. He used to tell the Labour movement in this country that the class war was over. Well, there was only one class under attack in the House of Commons this afternoon, and that was the working class. Because half a million public sector workers now face redundancy in the dole. Millions of other public sector workers uh, now face cuts to their hours, cuts to their pay, cuts to their pensions, and £18,000 million pounds is about to be slashed from welfare spending in this country. And that means that the unemployed, it means that the sick, it means that people with disabilities, it means that people on housing benefit, it means that pensioners are going to be robbed. The, the, some of the most, the poorest and most vulnerable groups in this country are about to be robbed by some of the most powerful and rich groups in this country. And the class war uh, isn't over, it isn't even back because it never, get, it never went away and we are understanding that now this afternoon. And you know, pensioners are not going to be taken in by the fact that some of the universal benefits like free travel for the elderly have been left untouched. Because by raising the state pension age to 66 for men and women in this country, this government has taken £5,000 million out of the pockets of pensioners up and down the length of the country. And by increasing pension contributions for public sector workers, the same government has taken £1,800 million out of the pockets of public sector pensioners. And by freezing pension credits, while well, inflation is ripping away, they're also hitting the poorest pensioners rather than the better off pensioners in the country. And even the, even retaining the link or restoring the link between the state pension and earnings isn't what it seems to be. Because unless you restore the value of the state pension to what it was before that link was broken, then it's a false move and doesn't count for nothing for pensioners. We will still have a pension that's about half the average pension for all the rest of the countries in the European Union. And you know, I'll finish with this. There was a great uh, saying that Michael Maguire, the late Michael Maguire, the pensioners leader, uh, the, sorry, the, 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 the miners leader, uh, used to tell mining rallies. And he used to say to them, you know, if you don't run, the, the bosses can't chase you. And it's time for this movement in this country to stop running and to turn to fight, just like three and a half million workers in France did yesterday. If we do that, we can beat this coalition government. Thank you.